Welcome to the More Than Just Mowing podcast. I'm your host, Joel Cleaver, and this is the official podcast of Jim's Mowing. If you didn't know it, it's the world's largest gardening franchise with more than 2,000 franchisees in Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. And on the podcast show, we interview franchisees, our franchisors who run the regions and manage the franchisees, and also Jim himself. So there's a lot of broad range of content, and we do encourage you, if you are researching more about Jim's Mowing, about what we do, go through those episodes. It'll give you a great sense of who we are. So without further delay, here's today's episode. So Ben, thank you for joining us today in the Gyms Group and the Gyms Mind Podcast. And first of all, you're one of our winners of the Accor Voucher Silver Membership, which is um, really useful. It's a great, it's, I think it's worth like $600 or something like that. So you get that for free. We're going to send it to you after the interview. And thanks for joining us. And, and the reason why you're winning is because you've got, so, you've got a fantastic star rating. You've got perfect five-star rating at 111 reviews since joining us. So maybe you want to talk a bit about um, how you got started with Gyms Mind in the first place and, and what were you doing prior? Um, yeah, I was... Plumbing prior to this and not quite make it to the apprenticeship, but I thought I'd bugger it and I'll go with myself. Didn't want to do plumbing, so just jumped on trade me and started scrolling and think I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Mowing, that looks all right. And then I joined my, my mowing my own lawn and taking care of my own property and two and a half years later, here we are. So it was just that you liked doing gardening and mowing your house and you thought, oh, Jim's mowing's for me then, or how did you find out about it or what research did you do? So I was on trade me and look at the jobs and stuff. And then I did some research into gym smelling and went out with a couple of the guys and thought, this is all right. I could do this for a while. And I didn't hate it. I like the smell of grass and now I can't smell any grass. Now I can't smell anything. Don't get the smell of fresh cut grass anymore. Yeah. It's just lost, lost in you now. <laughs> yeah. It's all part of it. But I, I enjoyed it when I went out with some of the guys and we're, here we are. And I was going to say though, did you do the training over in New Zealand or did you come to Australia for your training? I uh, know I did it in I did it in New Zealand and Auckland. How, how was your training experience? Uh, it was good. Yeah, it was three days. Went to Auckland. It was pretty informative. Yeah, it was good. I think it was more business training, or you're on the tools, or what was the maybe just give a bit of an overview about what you did. It was all business training, all business training. We're going back two and a half years now. I can't remember quite much of it, but the on the job training was just learning about weed eaters and client customer satisfaction and would how to take care of the customers and make sure you get five star reviews and well you've obviously yeah. listened because you got 111 five star reviews and you you know perfect star rating which is fantastic so maybe what do you do differently maybe in your business that maybe other independents or something aren't doing in terms of getting those so many good reviews that's a good question we just so we're just being ourselves <laughs> uh, supplying them with excellent service and dealing to any potential complaints that we might have promptly and efficiently yeah we just go out and mow the lawn and we make sure we do a good job every time well what's excellent service to you then maybe just tell people because a lot of we you know obviously what customer service is to you but is it like you know you send a message before you arrive or you send a picture after the job or is this what are you doing maybe that might you might think it's common sense for you but might not be for other people so what are you doing differently uh well we send the text every night well usually every night beforehand and we arrive on the day where they're provided and we do the job immaculately with mulch mowing. So make try and make the mulch mowing look like catch mowing. And then you, they either get the invoice after the job is done throughout the day or when I go home from work, they make sure you get the invoice sufficiently. So in your business, are you off? Are you doing more than just mowing? What, what are all the services you do? Uh, well, we primarily mulch mow lawns, uh, do a bit of hedge trimming. Fence building is always fun, uh, house washing. Not so much gardening, but if it's a really good customer, we'll, we'll go and help them out. A lot of spraying with the correct PPE gear. And I suppose correct PPE gear is another good one for service. They know we're always taking care of ourselves. But yeah, we offer pretty much anything they can think of outdoors, we do. And how many jobs roughly a, a day do you do, Ben? Uh, we do 20, between 17 and 20 a day, but there's two of us. Oh, so you've got a work with, you've got a team. Yeah, we've got a team. Yeah, but I don't think I could do it without a team. That's fantastic. So how 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 long have you had your team for, and, and how and how do you work with your team? Uh, we got I've been with the team about eight months, and we work together primarily 100 percent of the time. Sometimes you're on our own, but not very often. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of jobs you get through in a day. So is is it just because you just but you're so efficient with you can get through so many, or how do you get through so many in a day? Well, we start eight, crunch at five like a normal normal day, but we work together efficiently. Best way to describe it. Now, is it one person on the mower and one just doing the edges, or do you mix it up, or how do you do it? 
there's no time wasted. One of us is on the we need and one of us is on the mower. And once one of us is done with whatever tool we're on, the other one jumps either on another mower or on the blower or has the ute start. If it, there's not much time left for the job, have the ute started, backed out, ready to go. So, so you're straight into the next job. Are you happy with the business compared to what you're doing prior before Jim's mowing? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. A lot of it comes down to working for yourself, but also getting to pick who your staff members are and getting to pick who your customers are. It's really just more of a social aspect that keeps me going at work, I suppose. That's a great point, what you said then about picking your customers and picking your um, your workers. So is that something where over just over your time, you've been able to mold that into a more enjoyable experience for yourself with the customer side of it and with, as you said, with the, the worker side of it? Yeah, yeah. It's not to say who I wasn't working with before wasn't, wasn't, wasn't good, but I just prefer what I'm doing now with picking my customers and picking the type of work we do and picking who I work with. It's just better as opposed to what I was doing before that. Absolutely. I've been told what job and where to go and what that. Primarily, we try and make decisions together as a team. That's awesome. And with your work leads and all that sort of stuff, are you happy with the leads you receive from the office? Yeah, yeah. We just had May, which is last month, and that was up 150% on last May. So we received a total of 30 leads in all of May, which the year before that was like seven or something. The leads are coming in. That's great. And how big is your business? Like how many regulars do you currently have? Uh, we service 125 a fortnight. So it's, it's a lot. <laughs> that, that's regularly. So I suppose yeah. if you say 20 a day, that, that's supposed to equal one sexy. But we did, we fill it with, we do 20 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then that's sort of 60 and fill the rest on the Thursday and Friday and mix with other jobs. That would have put to the 20 a day being fences or weed eating or weed spraying or hedges or stuff like that. You're very busy. You're going flat out to get through all that sort of stuff. And I was going to say, what's your typical day sort of look like? What time do you start and you finish and how do you sort of operate your day? Uh, we start at eight most days and summertime it's a bit different. And with summertime we start a little bit earlier, but in winter time, it's all right if we get rained off. We could do with a day off every now and then. But so in winter time we start a little bit later and finish a little bit early and take a bit longer lunch. But in summertime, it's just, it's nonstop. And physically, how's your body body going with everything? Because you're going a little very hard, so how's your body going? In winter time, it's great. In summertime, it's, that's definitely need two people. You can't do it without two people. Some people do 120 lawns a day easy, but our 20 lawns aren't small that we're doing a day. So two people is essential for the size we do. You imagine. And how's your support been from your franchise? Oh, I think Gary's your franchise, always been around for a long time. Gary, so how's your support been from Gary and from the other guys in your region? Good. No, Gary's... Gary's there. Gary's with me whenever I need him. And the other guys, I don't particularly need their support much being two and a half years in, but I'm happy to support from you guys that are coming in whenever they need it. Absolutely. Now, what sort of equipment do you like using in your business? Let us know about, is there any brands or anything in particular that you buy or maybe just everyone likes learning what the mowing guys, the professionals use. So what do you use in your business? Yeah, we'd probably like to play Cub Cadet. Cub Cadet. Cub Cadet. Yeah. The Husqvarna push mowers are pretty good, but primarily Cub Cadet Rylon and the Husqvarna weed eaters, essentially. And the Makita battery blowers. Ah, okay. The Makita blowers, yeah. I've started, I've yeah. got a big battery range, which is coming out. We saw a bit of it at, um, yeah. So you like the Makita blower. That's cool. Blower, electric ones, yeah. Yeah. They just, in my opinion, they outdo the, the Makita blower in, in particular outdoes the battery blowers. We've had three petrol blowers and they're just nothing on the battery blowers. Oh, for sure. Now, I was going to say, what's a big misconception you think from customers regarding Jim's mowing in general? Is it the services or well, what's some maybe some misconceptions that maybe customers have if they haven't used Jim's mowing before about the service? The price of us compared to the independent guys, you really get what you pay for. Like we're in business two and a half years and some of these guys, don't, unfortunately, some of these guys don't even make it out of a year. Um, yeah, the service and quality, the reliability of some of these other guys that don't turn up, we're there all the time when we say we're going to be there. And if we're not going to be there, we'll make sure we let the customers know. It's a great point. And um, I think sometimes, unfortunately, customers have to go through that where they try and go for the cheapest person and they don't rock up or they disappear after you know a couple of mows or whatever it is. And then they come to us, which is which is what they you, you probably would have experienced. Yes, quite a bit. Yeah. I don't like that they get the customers leak it down originally, but I kind of like it when they text me a month later and say, can you come by my lawn now, please? <laughs> yeah. I have to learn the hard way. Um, with, with other people maybe looking at doing what you're doing, what advice would you have for them or what would have helped you, you reckon, when you were starting out? Give it 110%. You just got to do it. If you don't want to do it, 
you just got to do it. And financially, you're happy with what you're doing in your business? Yeah. Yeah. We're very happy, busy, happy, making money, giving customer satisfaction all the time. That's what we aim to, aim to do. We haven't got one bad review. You got 111 five-star ratings, which is fantastic. So you haven't got one bad review at all. So that's, that's an amazing achievement. It's good to hear. That's what, we've, that's what we strive to get. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And what's the plan for your business? Do you want to grow even more or what do, what do you want to do over the next couple of years to your business? Eventually, we would like to grow a little bit more. At the moment, we're pretty happy with just the two of us working together. If we were to get uh, expand bigger, we'd probably like to have everything prepared to expand bigger instead of just having it on the back foot. And what's the typical yeah. grass variety in your area where you, where you mow? Kaikui and buffalo grass. The best two grasses, nothing too flesh. Now I heard the Kaku is a hard to get is a bit a bit more if it has um because I went over there to do some filming with the guys and and they were saying it can be a bit hard sometimes on the mire. Have you found out to be the case or is there any? Yeah, but we uh try and make an effort of keeping the Kaku low majority of the year round. Yeah, we find even though if you in wintertime you cut a little bit higher, but just on the verge of between the brown and keeping it still looking green because in the winter, in spring and summer you just got to keep it down. Otherwise you're really it's up to your knees. Uh, last summer, we on two week notice, two week scheduled summer was up to our shins, just below the knees. Really, and that's just that's only two weeks with Kokoia. Really, yeah. <laughs> so, what's the regular what what's the regular interval for you guys generally with customers with with grass? What should they be doing? Primarily, fortnightly. In winter time, we're pretty flexible to the three weekly mark, but in in spring and summer, two weeks or some of them even should be one week, especially the ones that are up to your shins after two weeks growth. I think doing this in winter is a good thing to remind everyone to book a Jim's mowing guy for a regular service now in winter, because if they try and go to spring and book, yeah, it's going to be very, very tough. Yes. Yeah. And winter, we're pretty open taking on jobs and last spring and summer, hate to say it, but we were turning down work and we even had to get rid of a couple of customers because the workload was just too much. Yeah. So the tip for customers is if you want to book a Jim's mowing franchise anywhere in Australia or New Zealand is to probably book a regular guy during winter. So you're not going to miss out when it comes to spring. Yeah, 100%. Come and find us. Absolutely. Now, Ben, what do you like to do in your free time? What, what does your business allow you to do or what do you what do you choose to do? Is it just work, work, work or what do you get up to? Uh, spring and summer, unfortunately, it's work, work, work. But when time gives a good opportunity to hang out with my mates and my wife and heck, go to the gym, go to the pub. Go to the pub. How, how old are you, Ben? Uh, 27. Oh, you're only pretty young, so that's, that's good. Yeah, lucky me. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. But, but, but mate, on behalf of the Jim's Group and Jim's Mowing, I want to thank you for doing great customer service and, and joining us today for the interview. We're going to get this across to you, and it's two free nights at any of your core hotel. You and you and your missus can go wherever, have a nice weekend away on the Jim's Group. It's worth around six hundred bucks the silver membership. So, big thanks to Accor and big thanks to yourself for joining us today. Cool, thank you, Joel. Yes, mate. Th- thanks, Ben. No worries, mate. I'll get this over to you. Thank you for listening to the episode of the More Than Just Mowing podcast by Jim's Mowing. If you do need help with your local gardening expert, please give us a call at one three one five four six for Australia. 0800 454 654 for New Zealand or head to jimsmowing.com.au or jimsmowing.co.nz. If you liked what you heard, please make sure you leave us a review as well. Wherever you consume your podcast, we appreciate your support. And until next episode, we hope you have a great week.